Welcome back, True Seeker. Just a little update on the rigged selection of Donald Trump, the female abuser who can only beat women in elections, a.k.a. selections. Again, the final count is that he got 312 electoral votes, like 312 is the Chicago area code where his rival Obama's from, also where Kamala had her DNC this year, where she spoke on the anniversary of Huey P. Newton's death. But that means Kamala got 226 electoral votes out of the 538 total. If you divide 226 by 538, she got 42% of the vote. I mean, 42%, you guys, with black history. As a reminder, her mother died right when Obama became president on the 42nd day of the year, February 11th, 2009, when Biden passed the torch to Kamala on July 21st, Earlier this year, 2024, that was 42 months from their first full day in office, or you could say it was 42 months and one day after Inauguration Day. Again, you learn gematria, you realize that Kamala equals 42, like slavery, like Tuskegee, like the N-word, like Jackie, like the rest of the long 42 list, which includes Martin. Remember, MLK wasn't born Martin, he was given that name. If you've seen the sitcom, Martin, he lives in apartment 42, and it's in Detroit on the 42nd parallel, Motown. Malcolm X, also not the birth name, equals 42. Muhammad Ali, also not the birth name, equals 42. Some of the most famous black people you can think of, like LeBron James, are 42. That famous show about a black family on TV, The Cosby Show, Cosby Show, 42. Huxtable, 42, that was their surname in that show. Black History on the Bus, Bus 42. Again, so many... 42s in black history. And now to add another one, Kamala Harris gets 42% of the vote. Don't forget Tuskegee equals 42 to go with the experiment. And then days after the selection, when supposedly black people are being targeted through cell phones with racist text messages, especially if they went to historically black colleges, then you get a Tuskegee school shooting. It's just 42 is everywhere. Uh, let's not forget either. Candyman just died right after the selection, and he died the day that it was called for Trump, the guy who used to be a slumlord and not rent, rent to black tenants. And, of course, Candyman equals 42, and it's based on the Cabrini Green housing projects, which are real from Chicago's history, and they were opened in 42 and in the latest Candyman movie, they got to show you a shot of the wall where the murder scene happened, and there's a big 42 on the wall. I mean, you can just go on and on and on. But now Kamala with 42% of the electoral college votes. And yeah, shout out to the person who left this comment. Brilliant observation. Had to pass it along to the community. Again, thank you to everyone who hits the like and the share and helps get out the word about this land we're living in, where the government is totally corrupt. Again, they call D.C. the Masonic City. They etch on the temple, the Masonic temple. All is number, the Pythagoras quote. And, and speaking of the Masons, and remember, modern Freemasonry is a Jesuit creation. Don't forget that Freemason equals 42. Don't forget Jesuit equals 42. Don't forget Georgetown equals 42. And Georgetown was built with slaves. And again, there's an argument that there could be presidents before George Washington, but go back and look. Georgetown opened in 1789. George Washington was inaugurated as the first president two months later. So the first president goes down the first year that the Jesuit University of Georgetown's established in 1789. And it's all 42s. Jesuits created modern Freemasonry. George Washington, the Mason. Again, D.C., the Masonic City. All is number. And don't forget, this is biblical too. 42 generations to Jesus. New Testament equals 42. What is the first book in the New Testament? Math, you. The word math is 42. And the final book of the New Testament, a lot of 42s with the beast, ruling for 42 months and whatnot. Again, it is all mathematics. It is all numbers. And don't forget, there's only one physical description of Jesus, and that starts in Revelation 1.14, and it describes a person with darker complected skin and hair like wool. So you tell me who that reminds you of. Until next time, true seeker.